Check this out. Uh, Denver voters to weigh decriminalization of magic mushrooms. Um, Quote, We're a pretty progressive city when it comes to drug policy. The organizer of the decriminalization campaign said. Denver voters to decide in May whether to decriminalize psilocybin uh, commonly known as magic mushrooms. Um, this came out on February 2nd, 2019, at 59pm uh, MST, uh, but was recently up- updated uh, February 3rd, 2019, at 6.02am. Um, uh, by Dennis Romero. Denver's mile-high reputation could get another boost after psychedelic drug advocates received the green light Friday to put an initiative before city voters to decriminalize magic mushrooms. Oh, okay, okay, so what I just read was that, yeah, Denver just has a reputation and freaking, and that's what gave them the allowance to, or allowed them to be like, yo, you know what, let's just... Let the city vote on whether or not we should have magic mushrooms. <sighs> the Denver Psilocybin Mushroom Decriminalization Initiative will ask voters in May to approve an ordinance um, that would make possession of the drug, no matter what the no matter the weight, legal for those twenty one and older. They could also grow it. Um, the proposed law, however would not legalize retail sales, uh, which have made the city an international darling of the cannabis world. Uh, A tweet by Denver Elections, at Denver Elections. Uh, After reviewing signatures submitted by the Denver Psilocybin Mushroom Decriminalization Initiative, it has been determined that they submitted a sufficient number of valid signatures, and the question will appear on May 7th, 2019, um, menu cycle, I think, uh, election ballot. Uh, hashtag Denver votes. Um, and I got 125, uh, love likes, um, on February 1st. So, so what I just read is that freaking. so this magic mushroom thing is going to be legit, but, but on May 7th, that's when, that's when Denver, Denver's really going to decide whether or not they should have it. So, um, it's, uh, okay, so let me just, this is almost over. It's, it's actually really short, and that's why I picked this one. Um, the city's elections division said organizers, what the fig, dude? My freaking, like, teeth are whistling for some reason. Um, the city's election division said organizers turned in enough valid signatures to qualify for the May 7th Menu, uh, menu cycle for the May 7th ballot. Kevin Matthews, director of the initiative campaign, said it will be the first time psilocybin decriminalization has become before U.S. voters. He said, um, he said the campaign's long-term goals are to educate the public on the drug and stop putting users behind the bar. Uh, a quote by by Kevin Matthew. I don't foresee a recreational cannabis model in the near future, he said. The measure seeks to put to put the uh, and this isn't this is uh, I'm done with the quote. Oh, sh- oh shoot! Hold on, I accidentally started a video. Shoot! Hold on. Okay. Uh, the measure seeks to. Oh my god! Oh my god! The measure seeks to put the brakes on criminal penalties for use and possession of psilocybin mushrooms. Its no limit component results from the mushrooms mushrooms' nature as a heavy, wet fungus that is then dried out, Matthew said. Proponents say po- prosecutors don't always recognize the difference, but law enforcement is evolving. We're a pretty progressive city when it comes to drug policy, Matthew said, referring to the Denver mid-2000s mid, mid 2000s marijuana decriminalization and 
to the state's legal recreational sales that started in 2014. In some ways, marijuana did open the door, he said. Um, Matthew, w. J., uh, Matthew W. Johnson, a psychiatry and behavioral sciences professor at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, has researched psilocybin for possible use in treating anxiety in treating in treating anxiety and depression in cancer patients. He said he said in an NBC News interview in June that the prospect of you know what I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be done with that. Uh so so what do you guys think, huh? Do you think magic mushrooms are a bad thing for treating depression and anxiety? But you know what you know what, before you even say your opinion, dude, for real, there are people that cut themselves out there, out there, and you know what, maybe magic mushrooms is key, I'm not, I'm not saying I've done any, but, but I don't know, you know, um, I'm gonna link it in the description, so, so, you know, if you want to read the whole thing, uh, there is still a little bit left, but I don't feel, I don't feel like reading the whole, uh, the rest of it, and stuff, um, but yeah, I think that's really cool, and I, and you know, talk about a progressive city, like, if this gets legalized, then, then, like, is it just gonna be in the city, you know, or is it for the whole state, or, or, like, the, like, if it gets, if, if, if Denver is, like, a legit, is gonna be a legit city for, for a silo sibin, like, what are the other cities gonna do, you know, yeah, and actually, you know what, I think I know why they, they're they not going to do retail sales, because, because here's a specific insight on weed. So, I don't know if you guys know it, but you know how, like, corn is everything, or is in, like, all our food, and um, it has something to do with that one thing where it's, it's the, um, the, um, the Omnivore's Dilemma, that book. Um, if if you went to Riverview with me in eighth grade, we read it in Mr. Palmer's class. The Omnivore's Dilemma, really great book. Talks about how freaking how we never knew how to, we never really knew what to eat, so we kind of just go went with whatever filled us up or whatever. Um, and how corn became like became in everything and how like um how how uh corn has uh been uh genetically modified and to 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 um to yield more with just one plan and and then they feed that to like cows and chickens even though cows and chickens were never uh are not actually supposed to eat corn they're supposed to eat whatever the f they are supposed to eat um, and then when we eat those cows, um, they're, um, we're basically just eating corn cause that's, cause all, that's all the, the, that's all they're eating, you know, and how, and people say that stupid freaking thing, you are what you eat. Oh, you know what, dude? Um, uh, freaking. uh, I used to have a buddy that would say whenever someone called him was like, whenever someone was like you're a pussy, like, he would be like, you are what you eat, and I'd be like, shut up, dude, dude, shut up, you, you know what, you, you know what, you know what you do when someone says that, you say, why do you think that, and that's, oh, uh, yeah, okay, we're, we're moving on from the freaking psilocybin, uh, oh, shoot, no, I was gonna say that thing about the weed, so, so, how, how corn has been gen- genetically modified, and, 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 and it isn't the same thing as, as it was, uh, it's completely different than it was from, like, the 1700s, right, um, that same thing happened to Wheaton, so, so what I'm saying with the retail sales, and how they're not gonna, they're not gonna allow the psilocybin to be sold, um, in, in large amounts, like, uh, like dispensaries and stuff, is because I don't, I don't, I think they don't want that same thing happen that happened with weed and corn to happen to to mushrooms, you know. Um, and I think that's important because if you're gonna do mushrooms at all, I think they 
It should be natural, you know, or whatever. Um, yeah, so, so isn't that a whole thing, eh? 